In today's video, we will learn about most common image smoothing technique, which is median filter. Median filter is a non-linear filtering technique, which is useful to remove noise and preserve sharp features. It is highly effective against salt and pepper noise. In this video, we will go through basics and implementation of median filter. And at the end, we will have effect of median filter on different types of noises. So watch till the end. If you want to use OpenCV function of median filter, kernel size should be positive or integer. So let's look at an example. Assume that we have an image with the top left pixel values as follows. Now we want to convolute a median filter of size 3. So we first sort the elements. So we'll sort these nine elements and choose the central value from the list. In this case, it is 30. So we update our output image pixel value to be 30. Note, as kernel is always odd, the total number of elements in the list will always be odd. So you just need to sort the list and choose n square plus 1 by tooth element. Now, let's have a look at why min filter is robust. So in this image, let's assume we have two noisy pixels, one being 45 and one being 90. So if we implement a median filter, our output of our median filter will be zero. So here we got rid of both the noisy pixel. On the other hand, if we would have implemented mean filter, our average would be 45 plus 90, which is 135 divided by 9, which is 15. So our mean filter would have given us an output of 15. This shows that median filter is invariant of noise, whereas mean filter is not. Now let's see how median filter preserves edges. So in this example, we have an image with zeros and 90. So we have an edge here in the image. So now if we implement a median filter in this particular three by three matrix, we have six zeros. So our resultant output will be zero. And when we slide the window, we have six 90s here. So our output will be 90. So here we are preserving edge with the same intensity. If you want to know about techniques to get the output image size to be same as input image size, go to your top right corner and view the video on mean filter. For today's video, we will use this example as it is very sharp and without noise in order to see the effect of our median filter. So we have this image where I have added salt and pepper noise of 10%. Now, if we implement a median kernel of size 5 by 5, we see the resultant image which has no noise. So we got rid of complete salt and pepper noise with a 5 by 5 median kernel. We cannot see the difference, but original image and this image has a bit of sharpness difference. So now you will say if median filter is perfect, what happens if I use a bigger kernel median filter? So in this case, we are using a kernel of 101 by 101. Because the kernel is bigger than the features, we lose some of the features like head of people or flags of the temple because smaller features are considered as noise and removed from the median filter. So now we will have a look at how the size of median filter affects the image output. So this is our image input, which has salt and pepper noise. In this case, we have implemented three by three median blur filter. So you see there is still some noise left. If we implement five by five, it removes complete noise. And now, if we go on increasing the size of our kernel, you see we are not losing the edges, but it is becoming a bit blurred. So if we 
make this process fast and if we go to kernel sizes of around 90 by 91 by 91 you see here the small features have started to vanish also people's head so if we go on increasing the size of mean blur kernel we will lose lot of feature but our edges are still preserved so this is the effect of changing kernel sizes in a median filter so now let's look at how median filter works in different kind of noises so this is an example with a gaussian noise of mean as 0 and variance as 3 so you see here we have a noisy image and when you implement a 9 by 9 median filter noise reduces but it does not still go to 0 also a fundamental problem in optical and digital holography is presence of speckle noise in image reconstruction process so we tested our median filter with the speckle noise so you see here it is a very heavy speckle noise our median filter of 5 by 5 reduces the noise but still we see a prominent part of noise now Poisson noise is seen due to statistical nature of electromagnetic waves these sources have random fluctuations in photons so we see spatial and temporal randomness and maybe i have implemented it wrong but there was no effect of median filter on poisson noise so this was a comparison of using median filter on different types of noises if you like the video do share and subscribe to soft illusion if you have any questions about any kind of filters do comment thank you